And here we are on the field. I'll leave you to Verone and Darius Johnson to take you through the team introductions. Welcome back for the second match of the second half of day one. We have CVA versus Darkseid. And CVA are fielding three Drakes, two Sabres, a Dramiel, a Scimitar, a Hugin, and two Rooks. And for Darkseid, we have a Claymore, a Dramiel, Maelstrom, Maelstrom, Jaguar, Dramiel, Maelstrom, Dramiel, Thrasher, Scimitar. Again, we see the um, trio of battleships from uh, Darkseid. We're just waiting for the countdown and local now from uh, CCP Claw, and we'll be underway. Um, it's interesting to see, actually, that Darkseid is once again... Uh, as many other teams have brought uh, the logistics pilot in at range and hope of prolonging his life a little bit, I think. Yeah, and, and one of the other interesting things I, I think I see here is on the CVA side, there's a there's a bit of a mix of, of, of ECM. Yeah, it's certainly going to be interesting, and straight away there uh, we have the match underway. Um, not a lot of damage being dealt initially. No, just maneuvering for, for position. Dark sides popped a bunch of drones. Yeah, we can see um, mainly Vespa EC 600s and Valkyrie 2s from um, from the Dark Side team. Their Dramiels have just absolutely screamed across the field towards the CVA team there at like three kilometers a second to start pinning and tackling those guys. And I think now we're seeing some damage on the Thrasher for Dark Side, but it was immediately right back up. Yep, the Scimitar pilot doing an excellent job there. Um, not really a lot of damage going on other than the attack on that uh, that Thrasher, who is, oh, just took a hell of a lot of armor damage in one goal there. Yeah, <laughs> somebody was like, whoops. And we're also seeing on the uh, dark side side, uh, Dramiel um, losing shields at this point. That Thrasher was wrapped back up by the Scimitar pilot, and the Dramiel's about to drop. And there goes the Dramiel. We can see one of the rooks from the CVA team starting to take shield damage, but... Melina Phoebe from um, from CVA there in the uh, the scimitar is actually uh, coping with that quite well. Yeah, I think they've switched targets over to uh, the one of the other Dramiels. Yep, we can see a second Dramiel there for Darkseid um, taking a bit of a beating, but their scimitar pilot uh, once again seems to be dealing quite well with the situation. Um, it's quite quite a skilled job for logistics pilots, and generally this this uh, tournament tends to be make or break to see whether they can handle. Uh, being switched around and flipped between targets. Yeah, you do see a lot of that, and I think, Bra oh, and that train meal's gone. Oh, and now we're seeing one of the one of the rook on the CVA side at about half shields. Yep, it looks as if they might actually get this rook if the, uh, the scimitar pilot from CVA doesn't get a finger out. Um, but yeah, we can... Um can see one of the thrashers there from dark side sitting at about 25 percent armor but his logistics pilot and the scimitars actually uh picked the whole of his uh, his shield back up for him yes uh, willy fast fingers they call him <laughs> can see there the jaguar for um for dark side is gone instantly obliterated in about three volleys yeah and that uh cva rook is now almost out of shields it looks also as if they're trying to confuse the, um, the CVA Scimitar pilot, um, one of their rooks. Oh, what, did we just lose one of their rooks there? Either that or it magically vanished. Yep, it would appear that one of the rooks from the CVA team has vanished. It's not on my overview at all whether that was a boundary violation or whether he just decided he didn't want to play anymore is entirely uh, to be decided. At this point in time, they're kind of spreading their fire around. Um, I'm seeing hits on a couple of dark side ships, uh, specifically the Maelstrom and the the other Dream or the last Dramiel. It actually last looks about like half it actually looks like those Maelstroms alphaed that uh, that rook in one. That's the way it definitely looks. It looks as if the ECMs come off them, they failed their cycle, and those three Maelstroms have just flattened it in one go, which is a pretty impressive alpha from the um, from the dark side team. Yes, and that last Dramiel's gone. Um, and they're starting to chew up the other dark side uh, Dramiel. Yeah. I think to have on the field, but, um, well, three Drakes and the Scimitar still on the field for CBA. Somehow I think that uh, they're going to be able to keep under those, uh, the tracking on those. Uh, Maelstroms, because they appear to be artillery fitted. 
And I just got an update from uh, Claw. The, the rook went out of bounds, and that's why it vanished so fast. Ah, there we go. Claw using his enormous hammer of death. And that dark side Dramiel's still hanging on with his shields going up and his uh, almost just over 50% structure. He's a little Dramiel that could. Indeed. Scimitar Pilot keeping him alive uh, by the skin of his teeth there, actually. You can see that the Dark Side team have looked like they've, um, they've switched their damage to Melina Phoebe of CVA, who's flying a Scimitar for CVA. Yes, that Scimitar at about 50% shields right now. And they're still concentrating on, the, on that Dark Side Dramiel, um, but he's getting wrapped up pretty well. Oh, and it looks like they've switched targets to the Dark Side Scimitar which is now taking armor damage, and is dropping fast, and is dead. Yeah, that's going to be a big problem for the Dark Side team, and it is gone, it is down and out, so I'm expecting now uh, pretty much just the missile spam from these three drakes to chew through at least the uh, the destroyer and the frigate. Um, those three maelstroms, not sure exactly how they're tanked, but if they're damage fitted, they certainly won't be armor tanked, so... It's going to be interesting to see. I'm probably banking on them being shield tanked, buffered, uh, to go with a logistic ship, so it might just be a matter of CVA having to wear these guys down. Yeah, we just had the dark side thrasher drop. Yep, so on the field now, for CVA we have three drakes, two sabers, a dramiel and a hugan. Uh, we have three maelstroms, a claymore and a dramiel on the field for um, dark side, so no logistics pilots actually remain on the field now. And it looks like Darkseid switched fire over to the Hugan. Um, he's almost out of shields. Yeah, we've just lost another Dramiel Whoa. there for... Uh... Yeah, we just lost yet another Dramiel for the, uh, the Darkseid team. The three Drakes from uh, CVA hanging in there. And something else just dropped too, but I, for the life of me I didn't see what it was. I was the CVA Hugan has just vanished. Um in a big blue flash. Uh, now the field stands at three drakes, a saber and a dramiel for CVA. We have three maelstroms, the trio of battleships plus a claymore on the field for Darkseid. And CVA's saber's taken a beating and it's gone. Yeah, this um, this could turn around actually. This may, uh, this may go in the way of Darkseid by uh, by some strange fluke, but uh, they're still, they've still got a lot of DPS on the field, so if they can keep those drakes at bay um, and chew through them fast enough uh, before the drakes chew through their buffers, then it shouldn't be an issue for them. Well, never say die, that's what I always say. Don't stop believing. That Dramiel's taking Absolutely. shots now from CVA. And it dropped yep. fast. And he's down and out. Okay, so three drakes left on the field for CVA. Three maelstroms and a claymore, and it looks like this has turned around for Darkseid after losing the logistics first. Um, looks as if maelstrom might actually, um, it looks as if Darkseid might actually take this with the three maelstroms. That may very well be the case. We have a CVA drake now, and uh, his shields are almost gone, and once his shields are gone, he's not going to last. Yep, as someone has just pointed out there in um, Alliance Tournament Public, our in-game channel, um, this probably is going to be a snooze fest, and we're just going to pretty much watch these three drakes get chewed up now. Well, that's okay, because missiles have really nice animations. This is true. It's very pretty, and it pleases us a lot. Down to two drakes for CVA side, uh, three maelstroms, and a claymore on dark side. And one of the CVA Drakes now hitting 50% arm or shields, and that's going to drop pretty fast. Yeah, it looks as if the uh, CVA team have actually split the damage between, uh, or what's left of the CVA team, have split the damage between the two uh, the two maelstroms of um, of Darkseid, but it's not really going to do much. The second Drake for CVA now, uh, well, I was going to say into armor, but well into structure now and on his way down. Yes, and he's gone. Leaving us with one Drake on CVA side, and still the three Maelstroms and the Claymore on the uh, dark side. And I think this is pretty much done. Yeah, that Drake pilot is going to have a pretty painful, horrible, fiery, explosive death in a few seconds, and we'll probably call the match for dark side, I think. Well, he could do something magical, but I doubt it. 
Yeah, we can see there are uh, three Maelstroms in the Claymore for Darkseid still on the field. Actually quite surprising. I was expecting Sevier to take this, to be honest. Um, well, before I saw the setups, at least. Uh, but with that much Alpha on the field uh, from um, from the Maelstroms for Darkseid, who are actually, incidentally, auto cannon fitted, we've just checked, um, would be a... Uh, it's definitely swung the way of those guys. Well, I'm sure it didn't help having their, their Rook go off, uh, go out of bounds. Yeah, absolutely. I think that was one of the turning points in the match. Uh, it was uh, it was definitely one of those things. But those maelstroms are actually steaming across the arena now to chase that Drake. They're doing like they've peaked out at 1600 meters a second, so they're definitely micro warp drive fitted with a shield buff tank. And that Drake is down to 25% shields, and I give it about I don't know 13 more seconds as the crow flies. <laughs> yeah, uh, the wonderful thing about Kaldari ships is they always give a lovely explosion right after their shield vanishes because they just have no hit points under it. And there we go, we can hand back to Soundwave as um, Darkseid take the match. Thank you very much, one of the old established alliances, CVA, taking a loss to Darkseid. Uh, next up we have the Terrorist versus the uh, two previous tournament winners, Pandemic Legion, uh, that's at 1900 EVE, so stay right here. We're going to set the teams up and be right back.